Hi, my name is Carly Wilhite. I am a graduate student uh, in the Reynolds School of Journalism. And this last week I had the opportunity to go to Nortec. It's a waste facility treatment plant and landfill in Roseville, California. The first place we went into this big, huge uh, area where dumpster trucks come dump all of their trash can. I was in there for about 30 minutes and I saw about mm, between 40 and 50 dumpsters come in and dump uh, truckloads of trash uh, into the room. Once uh, the dumpster uh, releases its trash from the truck. Uh, the trash is taken up conveyor belts um, into the conveyor belts goes up into this large room area space where um, trash is separated. First of all there's uh, people on conveyor belt lines that are ripping open plastic bags uh, which we throw away um, our trash in bags and they're tearing those apart whatever they don't get to it continues down the conveyor belt uh, and the next person will open it and get to it. There's also a lot of machines besides people that uh, are employed that help with this process. Um, recycles, recycles are separated from the trash and from a lot of different machineries. One of my favorites was this one where it went on a conveyor belt like this and everything that was aluminum um, was magnetically sh shoot up into this uh, next conveyor belt, um, it was picked right off the line. Another one was where the tra or where the aluminum cans were separated um, as they go through the conveyor belt. Everything that's trash or not magnetic uh, will just keep continuing down the line. Uh, there was also a lot of composting there, so I got to see where that was done. Um, everything that can be composted also gets separated out. Everything um, is shaken. There's another one where there's a big tunnel and everything goes through and everything that's really small gets shaken through the bottom into another area Why everything that's larger keeps continuing to go along. So there's a whole bunch of processes that go one after the another. They flow um, all to make this possible. The composting I thought was really interesting um, personally, I saw this whole bunch of pumpkins. As you can tell, I went to Nortec the week after Halloween. Um, they do sell their composting there, which makes for great gardening. Um, so yeah, one yeah. of my questions to the general manager was, um, what happens if something that's hazardous or um, threatened like a bomb or anything like that gets found in the trash? How do they manage that? And uh, he told me that a few weeks ago, dead baby was found on one of the conveyor belts as it was going by and they were able to trace that baby all the way back to the dumpster truck that it came from 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 the state that it was found in all the way back to the city to the neighborhood to the dumpster truck where it was found in and just about four days later they uh, arrested the mom who did that and so even though Nortec is privately owned um, it's operated and funded by the county um, and anyways, I advise anybody that gets a chance to go to Nortec, um, they'd really have a great time.